Hi friends. Feels like it's been a while. I don't know if it has been. I've been in a different place. <laughs> you know, mentally. <laughs> but, I got a box today. What? So it's about that time for ink flight. Let's go. I cut this. I intentionally cut this before. There we go. Okay. And here we are. Wow, there's like stuff. Okay. We got fancy sparkly stickler. Stickler? Yep. It says, every fountain pen has a flex nib at least once. And it shows a sprung nib. This thing. Which says, Nakabayashi Lifestyle Tool Pin Stand. Declutter your workspace and make a home for your everyday writing tools with the transforming Nakabayashi Lifestyle Tool Pin Stand. I have so many cutting implements next to me, but they're all for sewing. This pin stand's design closes vertically, keeping all your pins upright and secure. Depending on the pin's diameters, you can store up to 10 to 15 pins with a maximum length of 155 millimeters. That's 15.5 centimeters. There is also a divider tray for erasers, refills, clips, and other small items. When the pin stand opens, it uses an embedded magnet to unfold, presenting the pins inside at a convenient, accessible angle. The Stan's craft paper construction is a canvas for personalization. Draw, write, and decorate with washi masking tape. Well, excuse me, washi masking tape, stamps, and stickers to make your pins feel at home. This month's sticker is a humorous reminder to be easy on our tines. So here's this pin stand. Now the interesting thing about it is that I don't like to keep my fountain pins vertical. I keep my fountain pens uh, horizontal. So, we'll see if it works for other things. Great. It also works for sewing tools. Quite frankly, that's a really good use for it for me. <laughs> I dig that it's made out of um, paper, so it's less plastic in the world. Uh, now I have to put all my sewing tools away. Gosh, who thought to make a mess here, Maria? I'm in the middle of a sewing project. Like, my iron is turned on. This should go on here, but look, it's too wide. And then if I put it in an angle, I don't like that at all. That feels kind of like a miss. But I do know I'm... Kind of like I'm not. Why are you in there? That's the wrong compartment. There was a thing in the wrong compartment for my son. Now we can look at the inks. Can we go back to what we were doing, Maria? Um, how have y'all been? Great, great. Good to hear, good to hear. So here we have, ooh, 
color burst. Very exciting. Very exciting. I got to get my thingy. You know. You know what. You know what. Inca pet. So the inks that we have. Colorverse. Volume 5. Zodiac Constellations, Volume 6, 3 Multicolor Pigment Pearl Glistening Hues, blah, blah, blah. So we have uh, Alpha Sagittarius, or Alpha SGR, but Sagittarius, whatever. Um, Alpha Cancer. Alpha Aquarius. Alpha Virgo. Then we have Cat's Eye Nebula, Monkey Head Nebula, and Iris Nebula. I have some coloring cards. This is a Tamar River thing, paper product steel dip pen, a paintbrush, a glass dip pen. Oh, I'm missing a thing. I'm missing a thing. I mean, I'm not missing a thing. And a Hombonichi Weeks. I've been putting the ink flight in the back, but... We're going to do this week. Let's go. I also have an automatic pen. Gonna clean things off and get started. Looking forward to these. I saw Amanda swatch them and I was bummed that I didn't like the look of Aries at all. Since that's my Um, astrological sign, but there were some lovely ones. Okay, so I'm going to move you a little because I can't really do much here. Apologies for the light, but you know. It is how it is and not how it isn't. So this is not a shimmer ink by the look of it. Here's a question. Do I write it? I'm going to write it how they have it on the paper. Um, this says, Sagittarius, depicted as a centaur with a bow and arrow, this constellation resides near the visible Milky Way. The ink color is a pale brownish pink. You know, I just wasn't sure what month it was right now. So that's interesting. I think it's because I got my May ink flight after my trip and then it was like not at the normal time and who knows.
basically nothing. The water didn't even change color. Little. Everything is working perfectly with all of my writing implements. You can hear it. You can just hear it writing perfectly. Right? This reminds me a little bit of White Rabbit. Maybe we should compare. Later. Next up. Alpha Cancer. My mom's a Cancer. They're the mothers of the Zodiac. Sagittarius. They're a fire sign. I tend to get along with them. The 100% science-based uh, field of astrology. CNC, the CNC factory. Is that the name of them? This says Cancer represents a giant crab crushed by Hercules in Greek mythology. This ink is a lightly saturated periwinkle blue. My eyes, thus far, recognizing it's not dry yet, it's not purple enough for me to call it periwinkle. To my eyes, it's like cornflower blue. It's the crayon that was always too light and you were sad by it because it looked like it was going to be a pretty color, but then it was like, what are you, clear? Why do you have no color? Boop! That one went for a walk. Y'all, this water looks clear still. That's how little saturation there is. On the camera, it's coming across as more purple, so that's interesting. In person, it's not purple enough to call periwinkle. I-M-O. And for our third one, we have Alpha Aquarii. So Aquarius represents the water bearer and is one of the oldest constellations documented. The sink is a deep sheening blue. That's good because I have long felt like there was a lack of deep sheening blues to choose from. Hey, there's color in the water. It's blue. I 
I do, I guess, appreciate that they will make an entire line stand for itself. But I have not been feeling the deep sheening blues of late. I have some new pens that I haven't shown you. You'll see them one day. I wasn't up to filming videos when I got them. And then I was also like, who cares? Um, they're lovely. From new to me makers. Which is also exciting. This is a nice blue. A little bit warm as far as blues go. And last from the constellations is Alpha Virgo. Tied to fertility and agriculture. The constellation Virgo is represented here as an ink with a bright, bold teal color. To my mind, that seems like a weird color to represent fertility and agriculture. What color would I use? Green. <laughs> yeah, green. This looks like it's a really pretty color. This looks like it's my jam. Is this shark's teal? I don't know that it is. Maybe. Maybe. So far for this sheening blue, it doesn't actually look obnoxious. So I may have to resend some of the snark surrounding it. But what fun is that? None. I decided, um, unrelated to pens and ink, that I, I need a, a better, different, light-up mechanical keyboard. And I feel like I'm about to go down a rabbit hole. Let me know if you've gone down that rabbit hole. So this is way greener than it's showing up on the camera. Per usual with teal colors. Right. Now we go on to... Volume 6. First one of those is Cat's Eye Nebula also. Yeah. So this is a shimmer. The shimmer looks pink or red. I'm going to do the river real quick. That's 
bilang I'll give it another shake I have been kind of rediscovering whiskey. The first time I was really getting into it was scotch, but I just bought a couple bottles of bourbon. It started with one, and then I got one to give to someone, but then I was like, but I want to try this, and so now I guess it's mine because I opened it. So I made old fashioned, which I like. Oh, I haven't been swatching on my Tomoa River paper. How could you guys let me forget? Well, let's go. I mean, because we've got the one Tomoa River paper here that we're using in the Hobonichi, it's maybe not as big a deal, but I can't stop now. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Next up. Oh, they didn't tell you what this said. This said this light pastel green glitters with a multicolored shimmer that appears like a brass patina. There's so much to unpack with that statement because the patina on brass is kind of greenish and so like to say like a brass patina would mean that it looked like green but what they mean is that the shimmer kind of looks brassy I think I don't know I think I get too stuck up on the f meaning of things don't I okay so monkey head ne nebula is up next you're gonna This all over the place. I'm kind of bummed I was invited to a party that I would love to go to, but it's on the same day as another party that I, I wouldn't say have to go to, but I kind of do. <laughs> um... Because it's for work. Why'd you put that over there? I put like the, the little thing like across the desk for myself. I don't know what that was about. Um, so this shading blue ink glistens with coppery violet shimmer. Copper is not my favorite. What I find funny is like copper versus rose gold. Which one do you call it? Does it depend on the market you're trying to attract? Because colors are not dissimilar. This kind of looks like Alpha Cancer. That'll be interesting to see. Then the last one here, Iris Nebula. This looks, the shimmer looks silver to me. I have a clear favorite and 
If any of you is surprised by my clear favorite, this must be the first video of mine you've watched. Thanks. Welcome. You go ahead and leave your guesses now. Okay, and shake again. Of this, they say that this dusky grayish purple ink shines with silvery, multicolored pigment pearl. Oh, uh, you know what? This absolutely reminds me of a watercolor I have that's based on um, a real stone. What is it? Is it kunzite? I should go grab it. Maybe I will. So I think what I'm going to do is pause, swatch these first four on the Tamar River, grab some comparisons perhaps, maybe if I'm feeling feisty, then we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I mean, I was never gone to you, but that's fine. Um, you ever get that feeling where you feel like you need someone to like pull on your limb to like make it pop or something? Crack. You know what I'm talking about, maybe. Oh, I've got that feeling on my arm today. So, the watercolor I thought it was like is Sujolite by Daniel Smith, and it's not. It is, but it's not. So this is Sujolite, and that's Iris Nebula. It's It's got a darkness to it. Um, let's take a look at these now. Move some stuff out of the way. Man. Pop my arm. Um, so, we have our nebulas. By the way, in case you guessed or didn't know, that's my favorite, Virgo. Which is funny because it's not my favorite astrological sign. <laughs> And if we look at these next to one another, Cancer and Monkey Head, they have their similarities, but they're not the same. Aquarius is not too um, sheeny, and the sheen on it is sort of a gold black. Anyway, I like it. it. I was when they described it as a sheening. I'm like, ugh, not another one. 
but it's great. So here they all are on the Timor River paper. And I thought this looked like White Rabbit. Excellent reflexes, Amalia. So that's White Rabbit there. That's Alpha Sagittarius. They have their similarities. White Rabbit is a little more mangy, a little more red. Um, should be in here. Oh, I know where it is. So here's White Rabbit, and here's Alpha Sagittarius. They're pretty similar. I would definitely not own both, but quite frankly, I would own neither. So that doesn't say a whole lot. Um, this blue is a tealer blue. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Should I have pulled these all out ahead of time? Sure. Did I? No. So here's your Meku Itizu, and then here's Cat's Eye Nebula. Mm, not completely dissimilar. I wonder if this is what Celadon Cat looks like. It's sort of a Celadon. I, I feel like it's more sage, but... So here is Cancer compared to Milky Ocean. Violets are blue to Monkey Head Nebula. Not at all close. I'm wondering though if so here's my version of Petrichor compared to Cat's Eye Nebula. Uh, similar. I didn't write Colorverse on there, dork. And Sailor Ink Studio 224. This is bluer. Mystic Mountain compared to Monkey Head Nebula. These look very similar to me. Very, very similar. This looks less saturated. Um... I was thinking that maybe that would look like ice rink. Let's see. So here's my Pure Pens Perth Cornell Cove. And this Virgo looks like a more saturated version of it, which is amazing to me. I love it. Aquamarine is more of a tone, so it has more gray. Monarchus Cenote, the base color, looks pretty similar to Aquarius. Look at how much blue! Look at it, it's getting all over just from the writing. I take back what I said about the sheen. I had thought it might be like ice rink, but not quite. There it is next to KSLV2. Look at that. Ugh, I'm frustrated now. I don't like it when the cards get dirty. 
Um, this one looked like, what is it, Leyte? Zuzma. No, because it wasn't late. It had to be that one. all the good comparisons we have. I'm glad that I kept this video short for you all <coughs> by not wandering aimlessly through my samples to no end. So glad about that. Let's compare this last one. So Sailor Manu Haha to color of herself a cancer. Cancer is a grayer sort of color. Um, I'm really excited about these. So, here they are. Oh, I didn't show you on the white Tamar River paper. My favorite of the constellations is absolutely Virgo. And my favorite of these three, the um, Nebula, is Iris Nebula. Because I'm kind of a sucker for these gray, purple colors. Um, I probably won't buy any of these. Admittedly, though, this Virgo tempts me. It looks really nice on this cream Tamar River paper. And again, we got this sticker. And we got this. Wow, pin holder thing. It's pretty neat. I wonder if one of my nibblings would like it. Kids like stuff like this, don't they? At any rate, kind of a fun uh, ink flight. I hope you're all having a wonderful day whenever you watch this. Please take care of yourselves. Bye.